Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the GFX UI application error you're experiencing on your Windows computer. It reads that the application cannot be started. Do you want to view information about this issue? So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser of our choice. And you want to search for download net framework. One of the best results should be download.net framework. Go ahead and open that up. Select the most recently released one, which is 4.8 at the time of this recording. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then on the right side, underneath runtime, select the .net framework 4.8 runtime. And go ahead and run the setup file once it's done downloading. And select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And it's already been installed in our system, but in your case, it's likely it hasn't been. So just go ahead and go on with the installation. And something else you also want to do similarly to the first thing we just did, just this time type in Visual C++ download. And go ahead and search for it. And download latest supported Visual C++ redistributable downloads. I'm going to go ahead and open that up here. And I'm going to select the time 64 bit version download. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. And if you were coming across the screen here, it said uninstall, I recommend selecting uninstall and then yes. And then we're going to go ahead and actually install it. So we're going to go back and click on the download again. It could open up the file that was already downloaded on our system, but I'd rather just uninstall the previous download. And now we're going to agree to license terms and conditions and then select install. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Setup successful. Go ahead and close out of here. And now you want to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And now if you attempt to run the problematic application, you should not be receiving that error message anymore. So pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.